God. I should have just stayed in Windhelm. Spent the night, I mean. It's cold out here. What's this place? I guess I'll find out, huh? Hi! Lovely stadium we're there. Love it. Love it, love it. Well, it's facing the wrong way for the road. It's nice. I am a grumpy Dunmer. Yes, 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 I am. It is a night gate in, apparently. Ugh. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, warm beds. Thanks. Uh. What? Never seen an old Nord before? Oh, no ma'am. I, I mean I have, but... God, you look just like my mum. But greyer. And a wee bit more weathered, pardon my saying so. Your mum's a Nord? Wait. Mordgood, is that you? What? Wait, Gran? Mordgood. Oh, make her steal my heart. Come in. Set gods, you've gotten so tall. Tell me, what what are you doing here of all places, and why do you look like you haven't slept in a week? Well, I haven't slept in a week. It's damn near impossible to sleep in Solstein right now without ending up somewhere you don't expect in the morning. What? What were you doing on Solstein? Looking for you. I mean, I know you said you'd come to Skyrim to join the fight, but I figured I'd check there first to see if I could catch wind of you, so to speak. I'd warned you I was coming, but carriers aren't coming around as often as they used to. The only boat from Raven Rock so far, as I saw, is the one in Windhelm. So, yeah. Oh, that explains why I haven't heard back from your mother. How are she and Balder doing? Right as rain. Still helping around with the rebuilding effort whenever they can. That's why I figured I didn't need me underfoot and I might as well be of more use on this side of the mountains. Good to hear. Now, what's this about not being able to sleep in Solstein? Well, I mean, you can, but whenever I tried and didn't have someone around to take watches with me, I ended up halfway across the island with no idea how I got there. There's a bunch of people building stuff up around the Allmaker Stones for some reason. Oh. Oh, Lord dear, you brought a curse on all of us. Uh, what does Gramps have to do with any of this? The short version of a long story is that back when he and I were sprightly, adventurous young things, hard to picture, I know, we found this book in an old barrow up on the hill above the village. And of course he, being the scholarly type, kept the damn thing even though I told him it was evil. It changed him. I told him once that he brought a curse on the village, on our family. A, a book? Like a big, heavy one with a blackish cover and a weird, like, I don't know, aura about it? You've seen it? Yup. Neloth, the wizard at Telmithrin. He's got it. He... He gave it to Neloth? I wonder if that was before or after he went to Cyrodiil. You could ask. He's still kicking it out in High Rock, I think. Last I heard, anyway. I imagine he'd be staying away from Skyrim on purpose, given the politics right now. We've had... got a lot of things going on. The Emperor's cousin got shot at her own wedding about a week ago. There's a dragonborn running around somewhere doing who knows what. It's a strange time to be alive, for certain. Y- A what? A dragonborn. I, uh... You... I was, um... Are you alright? Uh, yes. I think the lack of sleep is getting to me, though. I, uh... I heard that phrase recently... ish. Before. That makes sense now. I'm not surprised. Half of Whiterun seems to think I'm the Dragonborn. I'm not. I'm just a companion. Just a companion, she says. 
When did that happen? Seems like yesterday. Except... Well, yesterday I suppose I wasn't the harbinger. Vivek! I well... Oh gods, I'm starting to sound like Loptier again. I'll shut up so you can get some rest. Don't worry, I'll take watch. Uh, uh, Gran, you don't have to stay up! I don't think the mind bendy weirdness happens all the way out here. Eh, I might as well. No. I have a lot on my mind. And besides, I'm old, I don't sleep much to begin with. Ever think they'll live long enough to get to that point? I don't know, dear one. If you do, the world will be a very different place. You've got a much longer way to go than I did, for certain. Well, that's depressing. Eh, it's reality. You get some sleep, all right? Where are you headed in the morning? Somewhere out by solitude. Tracking down a bunch of pirates that I, uh... Well, <laughs> we got on the wrong sides of each other and I need to take care of them. Yep, you're Hella's girl, all right. Hey, you raised her. So I did. Rest easy tonight. I'll come with you in the morning. I don't think Ayla or Farkas will mind if I took a bit of time off before I came back. Did... Did something happen? Yeah. The previous Harbinger lost his life fighting Silverhand. We avenged him, but... Sometimes a warrior just needs a bit more room to swing her axe, you know? <laughs> Mom says that all the time when me or Dad get pissy. <laughs> well, then she's carrying on a proud family tradition. My father, your great-grandfather, used to tell me that all the time. It's a good saying. Well, with that in mind, I think I'm gonna just, well, shut my eyes and hope for the best anyway. I'll see you in the morning, Mordgood. Hmm. It's good to see you, Gran. So good to have slept. And you're still out here. Of course I am. Told you I'd keep watch. Well, I mean, after the the lengths I had to go to to track you down, I wouldn't have been surprised if you had something come up and had to run off. Why would I do that? Well, I suppose I do have plenty of reasons, but are you ready to go? I think so. Give me just a second. Uh... Give me just one second. Something I can get for you? I'd like a refill of water, actually. Of course. If I could uh, see what you've got in stock. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. I hope so, because I am. Ooh, yes. Thank you. I'll grab some of those. I think that'll do. Anything you need, just holler. Of course. Hey, Gran! Mm hmm. How are you stocked up on food? I'll be all right. Why? Well, I've got something for you. I know you sent a letter. I uh, did. We get. We did get the letter, by the way. Um. But I've got something for you. All right. What have you got? <laughs> this. <laughs> I did tell you to bring Ashiam, didn't I? Yes. So I brought you an Ashyam. I didn't bring multiple Ashyams, but I did bring you an Ashyam. Alright. Shall we get going? I suppose so. Do you mind if we stop in White Run first? Before we hit the solitude. Do you know of a quicker way? Not really. Probably. I swear if that guy doesn't give me his... Give me my space. I'm gonna have to do something violent. I've just noticed the halberd on your back. That's a pretty snazzy piece of equipment right there. 
Hey, gods. It's still disgusting out. Ooh, I sound like... I sound like mom. You sound like me. Kind of. Ugh. I apologize if I'm a little bit slow. I'm old and this is not good weather to be traveling in. Hi. That's true. With any luck it'll break before we get too far down the road. I suppose we can only hope. So... Where's the road? Uh, I've lost it. It's the other way around. Hey, God, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, you, you really do sound like a there. It's a bit disconcerting, actually. I mean, I did grow up around Mum, so... You know. I I think it's breaking. I think I think we've got some good weather. That would be nice. Gods, I, I feel like I haven't seen the sky without ash in it for like days, <laughs> weeks, months. Oop, what have we got? Trouble probably. Oh, just a wolf. Don't worry about wolves when you're in Skyrim. Why not? Because I'm with you. What has that got to do with anything? Just trust me. They... I tend to scare them off. Understood. Gods! I really have gotten tall, haven't I? <laughs> yes you have. You're almost as tall as me, look at that. That's... That's weird. Actually, I'm gonna take that off. Cause... Huh? Jeez. No, that's a hammer. I I got it off a uh, an undead guy. You mean like a vampire? <laughs> no, I got something awful. Something else. Oh, it's just another wolf. Alright. What were you going to say? Uh, right. I got something else off a vampire. <laughs> I uh. We have gone up against one in the uh, recent past. Uh, Don't star white run this way. I don't have a clue where I'm going. It's okay. I'll keep you pointed in roughly the right direction. I hope. Right. Uh, so what have you been up to? Besides becoming the harbinger of the companions, which is a thing I'd never think I'd ever say about my young gran. Well, that's pretty much... That's pretty much it. Uh-oh. Actually, I should probably... This guy. So you're not really fond of hammers? I'm fond of whatever will work for the thing at the time. And I know that hammers work really, really well for bashing through armor, but not so well at piercing fur. However, a sword can absolutely do that. You are a pragmatic one, I'll give you that. Oop. Saying that, I saw it's a bad thing. No, I'm... I'm Quite proud of you, actually. Thank you. Just distracted by Mimas. There's White Run. I don't think I actually went into the city the last time I was here. Wait. You said you were in Soul Sign. Aye, well, part of uh, this whole uh, cluster has been. I just kind of... giant... Uh, I've been ramming around all over the place trying to f track down some pirates and 
Uh, I believe the last time I came over on this side of the pond was to find a grave. A grave? Yeah. You know the Free Winters, right? I think so. They're a family in Windhelm, right? Aye, yeah. Uh, you're probably familiar with. Interesting. I'm gonna go this way because I don't want to deal with that. I would assume you're familiar with Brunwolf. Is that his name? Brunwolf Freewinder, yes. Well, he had a brother named Voden. Voden? Uh huh. Well, that's a historic name if ever I heard one. Careful. Did we really need to stop for a skeever? He was creeping up on you. You've got to pay more attention to your surroundings. Hey, I suppose I do. Sorry. Where am I going? Up and around the wrong way, I think, probably. Oh, nope, we're good. But, uh, yeah, Voden Freewinter. He was working with a, uh, a Dunmer mercenary named Teldrin Cero, who was originally from Blacklight, I believe. But I met him in Solstein, and, uh, there's this whole thing with... Ulfric's got a fake bounty out on his head because of something that... Something that Voden did that everyone has been blaming Teldrin for, it's a mess. And so I had to go find... Excuse me? So I had to go find, um... Voden's grave... To figure out that... Mr. Cero was, in fact, innocent. That's a long way to go for... The proof, but... I suppose... Even if we're not related by blood, you are my granddaughter, so... Thanks. I'll be honest, I was a little bit... I was a little bit scared to meet you. Even though I was tracking you down and whatnot. You were scared to meet me? Why's that? Well, you know, Nords in Skyrim... Well, they don't really take too kindly to Dunmer, do they? No, I suppose not. But I am not like the Nords in Skyrim. I'm even more a skull than your mother is, I would I would suspect. Yeah, that's fair. I still worry, you know. Although then I met Brunewolf and he seems pretty cool. He seems he seems alright. He's not as much of a nenwa as the rest. A what? <laughs> Never mind. Something about growing up in uh, in Morrowind. You pick up Dunmer slang whether you like it or not. I started saying it ironically and then just can't stop. Like in one Bivek and... I don't even really care much for the tribunal but I say Bivek anyway because I'm... silly like that. What are you looking at? Well, usually we end up having trouble across the way. There's a wolf over there but I think that's about it. Although I know that there's a bandit camp up in the hills somewhere that I probably should take care of one of these days. I probably. I suppose I could help you out with it, if you need help. I prefer to take care of your pirate problem first. Hey, that's fair. God, it's so beautiful out! It's like sunny and... and... crisp and... stuff. <laughs> Love it! Hey, I can tell you've been in Solstein too long. Uh, uh, Morrowind before that. I have worked up a good hunger just running here. Eh, fun. Lunch time. <laughs> You're not gonna eat that ash jam that I gave you, eh? Not yet. Right, okay. I 
I probably should stock up on Ugh. Oh, it's a couple days without sleep and you just kind of... You know... Yikes. You said this... You saw them about... A dragonborn. I did, yes. What's his name? Her, actually. Her name's Kinawa, I think. Her? Yes. Why? Sorry, just... I'm a bit confused. I, uh... A friend of mine said something about... She was convinced that a dragonborn could help us out. But... She was describing someone altogether dither different. That sounds like a... What, a Redguard name, Kinoa? Yep. Redguard as the day is long. It's kind of hard to miss her around these parts. Huh. So... Dragonborn's not a Nord, either, huh? No. Why? I'm beginning to suspect there's something... Something amiss. Unless there's more than one. More than one dragonborn? Aye. I'm not sure there could be more than one, but... You ever heard of a man named Eitastag? No, can't say as I have. What's all this about, Mordgood? Just, you know... Trying to get a handle on this whole thing. I might have... Uh... I'll tell you later. Excuse me? It was so blue when we walked in. Aye, it just kind of got cloudy all of a sudden. These fruits and vegetables are disappointing, Carlotta. Oh, good. I get them fresh from the farms daily, Nazim. If you were getting them from my farm, they'd be twice as fresh. Tired of bread and stew? Had enough of fish and Look. fowl? Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or a tender rack fresh of ribs. <laughs> Still Fine. Warm from the oven. What's that guy's problem, anyway? That's just how he is. Oh, good. I love you. Uh, speaking I of love guys love with problems, what's his problem? He's just very devoted to Talos, that's all. He's a little bit... disconcerting, don't you think? Yeah, a little bit. And there it is, friends. The alchemy. We are the children of man. <laughs> I hear Yorland. God of man. Ascended from flesh. <laughs> to rule the realm. Hey. You know, since I'm the harbinger now. Actually, you'd probably still have to prove yourself if you wanted to be a companion, but... You know, me at least. I... Sorry, I'm just distracted by this guy rambling on about how elves are the worst things that could ever have... Yeah. Sorry. Come on. Let's get out of the noise. Heimsker talks a lot. I'm not sure he means any of it. It's kind of empty in here. No 
Hvorfor siger jeg det? Vignar. We Greymanes have been feuding with the Battleborns for years. There's no more bitter enemy than an old friend. I was going to ask you if you knew about where any of the others were, but I see a yellow over there, and never mind. I was done talking anyway. Hila. Ooh. <laughs> Don't mind her. That's my granddaughter. How's it going? It, well, it's going. Do you have anything for me to do before I <laughs> head off on another business? Good that you're so eager. I've caught wind that one of the brighter silver hand has been sniffing around Winterhold. If you can sneak into their camp and steal her plans, we'll have the advantage. Winterhold, eh? Well, that's about the opposite direction of where I'm going, but thank you. Actually, I'm supposed to be finding a guy up in Winterhold. Actually, I, I think. Really? Who told you that? Uh, Gramps? Sorry. Yeah, I... I've kept up with him. We right. He mostly worries about Mum and... Well, me, I suppose. That's fine. He's not... Is he doing better? What do you mean? Less crazy? Well... I don't know, he seems pretty sane to me. Although, that's coming from me and I've got my own issues, so... Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, Avilkas. Seems everyone's back from the... Back from the tomb. It's good. So these are the companions. Hi. <sighs> you see the ones in the fancy armor are the members of the circle. Myself, Vilkas, Farkas. Uh, and Ayala. Although she doesn't like our uniform, so... <laughs> Come on. Let's get out of here before. For I am the chosen of Talos. I alone have been anointed by the night to spread. Ugh. Been tending to your hounds? You smell like a wet dog. I. Wait. About what you did, killing those I'll be sure to bring some back for you the next time I go hunt and... What? What's this about you killing witches? Give me a second. Need something? Nope. Yes. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. you no, know, even if you are my elder. The noise of this city gets to me sometimes. Having grown up in such a little village, this is a bit much. You know, I think Whiterun might be one of the bigger cities I've ever been to. It's kind of cool. Although, yeah, it's a bit noisy. <laughs> yeah, I had to, uh, I had to kill some witches, break some curses, tend to my hound, all that. You've got a dog? Well, not as such. Maybe I'll. I don't know. Did your mother ever tell you stories about? My father. Your great-grandfather. Well, not really. Oh look, the cats came in. Khajiit. I know what they're called. Khajiit. I just forgot. It's fine. I promise I'm not as bad as the rest of them. I'm just old and I forget words. Hey, that makes sense. Kind of. Good thing I'm here now. I'll keep your brain head... Uh, right. I'll keep your brain head on straight, I say. Having not a brain myself, apparently. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, right, I forgot. Um, Something about Great Gran. Great Gran. Gramps? That guy. Yeah, she never really spoke much of him. I mean, that's fair. She didn't really... She didn't really know him that well. He died before she was born, so... I suppose all she would know about him would be what I've told her, which, yeah, isn't much. Hey, something about... Uh... Stuff. Can't remember. That reminds me. Who's... Who are you looking for in Winterhold? I'm actually looking for the Archmage, I think. You're what? Why are you looking for the Archmage? Or is it just a... A study thing? Well, I'm looking for the Archmage because supposedly he and... Uh, he and Gramps knew each other and... I was... I don't know. Apparently he knows... He might know some things about some stuff that's going on with me head. Or the... Uh, or any of the stuff that's going on in Solstein. I'm not sure. That sounds... Interesting. Hello. Dawnguard. Oh aye, that's the other thing I've been thinking of. Hmm? Wait, you've been thinking of joining the Dawnguard? Well, I mean, sure, why not? More good. Why? Why would you join the... You don't want to put yourself in the way of vampires? Well, I mean... I've already killed one. He was... Huh. To be fair, he almost killed me back, but... I lived. <laughs> so, uh... More good. You've got to be careful, okay? I Gran. I'll be careful. That's interesting. What? Well, the last time I went through here, I think... I think Whiterun held this fort. As in, I'm pretty sure it was neutral. Interesting that the Imperials hold it now. That doesn't bode well. Uh-oh. What, you think the war's getting worse? I'm almost certain it is. I haven't really seen much of it despite joining... or coming to Skyrim to join the fight. Ah, it's clearing up again. I've been kind of distracted. Hey, I understand that. I got kind of distracted. Oh, that's a big cat. He's distracted. Speaking I'm of getting distracted. Out of here. Maybe. Come on, Morgan. I'm coming. I the last thing I want to do is tangle with that big bastard. The quickest way to solitude is probably just through here, but eh. we're taking the long way around, I suppose. Someone do something. Argue your ear off about which one should go first. Why are you following me? Hail, friend! It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. I'm not tired, I'm just old. Well, I would love to share a drink with you. Uh, although I don't actually have any honey brew if you're okay with something else. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, 
Your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. <laughs> well, they've certainly found me something for sure. Are you even old enough to drink? Well, I mean, I suppose it depends on what province you're in. More good. I won't tell. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> lonely out here, isn't it? It's it, like quiet. It's uh, it's big and it's empty and stuff. It's big and empty and stuff. I don't know. I don't think Skyrim is as empty as people think it is. On first inspection anyway. For example, you can't swing a dead saber cat without hitting a ancient ruin. Well, this should be fun. Never mind. I got him. That's a really cool helmet. Mm hmm. Just, sorry, uh, eating a bit. I like the helmet. Thank you. It makes you look, uh, I don't know, younger? No. Uh, not to be rude or anything, it's just, you know. I mean, it is an ancient helmet, so comparatively. Gran. <laughs> this is interesting. There you go, spooking all the wildlife. Eh, that's normal. It's even worse with the with the helmet on. It's like, oh, I'm big and scary, huh? What were you saying about the, uh, the patrol back there? I just thought it was strange. I saw the... I thought I saw a dragon just now. <laughs> Have you made- sorry. Got distracted. It was interesting to see the one patrol headed down this way, and then the other patrol on horseback headed up to meet them. It makes me wonder what those bastards are planning. So, I take it you're with the Stormcloaks then? I mean, why wouldn't I be? I'm a Nord. The Imperials are kind of what got your uncles killed, so... What? Really? Well, in a way, I suppose. The Imperials didn't see fit to... Provide any kind of backup when Ulfric stormed Markarth. And Van Gander was with them. Oh. You know, Mum doesn't talk about Uncle Van much. Actually, she doesn't really talk about any of my uncles that- either of my uncles that much. Oh boy. What? Oh. Um, can we go around them, maybe? You alright? I don't... Um... Those are Thalmor. Yep. 
Yeah, let's go around. Sounds good. We could probably take them. I'd rather not risk it. Thanks. It's all the same to you. You're afraid? I mean, what sane person wouldn't be afraid of the Thalmor? No, I mean... Something happened to you. I something happened to me. Many somethings. I might tell you about it at some point, but not right now. Right now I'd rather just get ahead of those bastards so we don't have to deal with them. Fair enough. <laughs> 